Today we're going to conduct an experiment. We are going to measure how gas is affected by the temperature inside of a balloon. So right now on the tabletop, you will see the materials needed for this experiment. We have a little pot that will be filled halfway with water. Two balloons. Uh, we have a measuring tape. We also need a freezer and a stove for this. So those materials will be in play later on as the video progresses. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take a measurement of the circumference of each balloon. So I will do that right now and you will record this on your observation sheet. This is an important part of the experiment because this is what we will be measuring after the experiment is done. So for the green balloon, the circumference is 42.5 centimeters. For the yellow balloon, the circumference is 46.5 centimeters. Please record that. I will be filling this pot with water and I will be setting it on the lowest setting on the stove. And then I will be placing this balloon in the pot for 10 minutes. So here is a pot filled halfway with water. And I will be placing it on the stove. And I will be doing this for 10 minutes. The other thing I will be doing is I will be pl placing this yellow balloon in the freezer for it also for 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. I actually put it in a bit longer. And let's get the circumference of this balloon. So I want you to think, is it going to be bigger or is it going to be smaller? The circumference of this balloon is 48.5 centimeters. Now let's check on the freezer balloon. So here's our balloon from the freezer. We need to measure this quickly or our results will not be the ones that we're looking for. And the circumference of this balloon is now 46.2 centimeters. So please record that. As a note, I want you to know that the temperature inside a freezer was minus 18 degrees Celsius, and the temperature on the stovetop was about 65 degrees Celsius as well. That might be something that you need to uh, have in your conclusions. So the last part of our experiment is you and your group will record what conclusions that you came up with uh, after watching this experiment. And then you will tie that information with everything we've learned in class so far. You, all, you are also allowed to do external research using Google or any other device that seems fit for your learning. Thank you for participating in today's experiment. Have a great day.